Give me that week of the war in Ukraine. You and Guterres playing his sanctions evasion game. Helping Russia get banks on script. Tony Blinken pretends to be missed. They met in D.C. for a photo op. The hypocrisy it just don't stop. Guterres wants to recognize the Taliban. Blinken pretends that's not the plan. Russian soldiers dig up anthrax. Because you might, you can't find facts. Tony's together to ban the press. The Xi Jinping, they do bless. The U.N. is failing on Ukraine, and it's not just the vetoes. That big boss, Tony Guterres, six long years calling Putin Papacito. Here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse. There's a jail behind me, but we're covering Ukraine as well. And um, we'll start with the small, from the small to the large. I don't know if it's small. I hadn't heard of anthrax in quite some time, but it appears that the Russian military has contracted anthrax from digging defensive positions uh, somewhere deep within Ukraine. Not deep, actually, quite near the border. But they hit a cow cemetery, and anthrax has, began, has, has uh, been diagnosed, and those with it have suddenly gone missing. In the big picture, President Xi of China called Zelensky this week. Now, this is a this is this is viewed as a as an enormous tectonic plates. Um, China, of course, is a major supporter of Russia, but they're also quite cynical. They kind of like a weakened Russia that they can take advantage of. They like a weakened everybody. They're they're, they're quite something, and they have a great supporter inside the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, on the payroll and failing on all fronts. But that's something to report on InnerCityPress.com.